Well, I'm at uh, Balsam Mountain Campground. Um, it's up. It's in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. It's secluded up here, but it's crowded in the campsite. You're a long ways from civilization, but it's crowded. Everybody's crowded right down here on top of each other. I'm not too gung ho about it, but it's okay. I haven't had any problems. A few dogs around, and some kids, but they usually well behaved. This was about 44 degrees this morning when I got up and uh, swimming on up, kind of nice. I'm going to start a hiking trip in a few minutes and I'll take you on my journey. I don't know how good this shows up, but I'm headed into a real small, unimproved road. Uh, it's one way, so I'm committed. <laughs> I got about 12 miles on this road before I come out the other side. We've got some sort of a view here, not a great view, but a little bit of a view. I'm still in my car riding along. I'm... Yeah, we got a little bit of a windy road, but it's pretty nice. It's only one way so you don't have to worry about oncoming traffic unless they go in the wrong way. It's a real nice road and a beautiful view beautiful ride. Way better than riding on the highways and looking. Ooh, look ain't that pretty. Sun's beginning to shine through. Got a mountain top up there. Well, there's been a bear by here not too long ago. It's been hard to find some views, but maybe there's a little views here because there's so many leaves. I bet in the fall this would be a beautiful drive. I hadn't seen another car out here, but when I got to the trailhead, there was a bunch of people here doing medical training for backcountry, I guess. But I'm starting my trail hike. Uh, this is the Balsam Mountain Trail. Uh, got a long way to go today. But there's some pretty flowers. This is kind of washed out trail looks like to me but once I get on top of this hill I think it get a little better yeah, I'm gonna be headed up for the next two or three hours then I'll be headed back down the way I came I want to give a shout out to Wyatt. Thank you, Wyatt, for watching my videos. I hope you get a chance to see this one. It's a very pretty area right here. It's kind of an open area with not so much brush. There's mountains off in the distance. I'm about 1.5 miles into my uh, hike. I'm taking a little water break, a standing break. The hike has been real easy and looking at my app. I don't think it's going to be a lot of elevation gain, so I'm just hiking along the top of this mountain. I drove up to the top of it, which was easy, and uh, I'm just going to enjoy my hike today and take it easy. Uh, the total round trip hike is supposed to be 9.2 miles. I shouldn't have much trouble making that. Ain't that pretty? Got a little flat spot here, pretty well at the top of the mountain where it gets some sunlight and uh, it's very beautiful I don't have any trouble staying on trail though even though it's overgrown a little bit oh there's some purple flowers I don't know what they are there's some blue ones oh there's a pretty blue one it's like you're walking through a flower garden and they're pretty. All kind of blue flowers and white flowers and some yellow flowers, some purple flowers. Wow. Kind of covering up my trail a little bit here. Whoo, a lot of blue flowers here. Ain't that pretty? Yes, buddy. This is nice. Blue flower, a lot of blue flower. 
white flower, yellow flowers. They're pretty through here. Looks like it's gonna go on for a while, so I'm gonna turn the camera off. I've been hiking for about uh, three hours. No, an hour and a half, I've hiked three miles, that's what it is. I've hiked about three miles an hour and a half. I'm taking a resting break, it's about 12.30. I'm uh, gonna eat me a little snack and head on up the trail. This is kind of a little open area, but it's not, uh, it doesn't have any flowers, it's got too much canopy. Well, I have hiked 5.5 miles. I'm going to turn around and start back to my car. I think nine miles will do it. I'm almost to the top of Balsa Mountain. I've got a little far, further to go, but I'm not going to do that. Probably another half a mile I could be at the top of Balsa Mountain and I could make that hike, but I think nine mile hike is good enough for today. Most of this four and a half mile has been steady up but not terribly difficult and my trail back will be steady down so i'll make good time i'm gonna drink a little water eat a snack and head back to the car well i'm back at my car i hiked nine miles five hours and two minutes which was not fast but i was intentionally going slow but my legs are wore out i hiked all i want to I had a great day. The weather was perfect. Uh, I'm going to start driving out and maybe I'll see something interesting. I've got a pretty long drive to get out of here. we got a little water stream over here with a bridge across it. On my way out, thought I'd stop and video. It's very pretty. Drive out has been like this for a long ways, with right along this stream. Very pretty. Uh, this is day three. I had planned on staying here tonight. When I looked at the weather when I left the house, it was not expected to rain. Rain moved in last night about 10 o'clock. When I got up this morning, uh, I looked at the weather forecast, and it's rained all day, all night, and it's not going to do any, nothing but get worse because of the tropical storm that's headed up here from the Gulf. Sometime when it's raining, it makes the mountains very beautiful. <clears throat> I'm here on the Blue Ridge Parkway headed home. Hey, Elk. I'm at Conquer Green National Park. This is right outside of Columbia, North Carolina. You get to see a lot of the swamp. <clears throat> There's a lot of people here looking at the swamp. It is open completely. Um, but this boardwalk trail goes about a mile or two, I'm going to walk it real quick, see what it looks like. They're supposed to have some of the uh, largest cypress trees in the country. And cypress trees don't live terribly long, so when they die, they have to go around and find another big one to see if that, somebody else will take over the biggest tree and then they'll keep looking around here till they find a bigger one than the other one then they'll take it back over but this is to keep if you let you walk through the cypress swamp <clears throat> it's a weird national park it doesn't have many amenities at all it's, there's the cypress knees I'm used to seeing so I guess these are all cypress trees. That's probably the only thing can live out here. That's a pretty good looking old tree right there. I've seen some bigger ones in, on Doyle's land. 
that's pretty good size for now. But not as big as ones I've seen on Doyle's land. I believe if he measured what some of those on his land, that's the Western Lake Loop. I guess see that lake right there. I'm gonna. Uh, it goes into the King Snake Trail, which is about 20 mile trail. It goes right up that way. I'm not taking that down. I didn't come prepared to hike a trail. I'm going to walk out here and let you see the lake, though. Ah, oh, this is the lake here. Western Lake. There's a trail along the lake. Isn't that cool? I guess you could kayak in here or do what you wanted to. This is the Bluff Trail. This place is full of cars. And I've hardly seen any people. I don't know where they all go. There's cars everywhere, but very few people. Maybe they're walking a lot of different trails that I don't know about. I don't think so. Maybe they just scattered about. There goes a couple walking right there. I don't know what they... Those look like rangers. This is Longleaf Campground. I guess Longleaf Pine. This is number one. And I guess that's number two. They're very nice. But I don't know. Yeah, that's number two. That's very nice. And four, five, and six are remote and got away from the, uh, if they was Boy Scouts out there, got away from all of that. But uh, they don't have a build-up platform. They just have flat spots. It's not just flat spots. No camping there. Here's a little bridge. This is group camping only here. Not for the Boy Scouts, I guess, to see what it looks like. 9 through 24 campers, 9 through 24 campers per site. Nice field for the kids to play in. This one, site number one, is open where you could have reservations. So I guess they got enough of them open that if you wanted to come in here, you could. But some of them closed. They probably got every other one closed, what it looks like to me. Anyway, that's it. I thought about camping here tonight, but it just, I'm just not feeling it. I'm about three hours from home. It's about 3.30. So I'm going to head on to the house.